Welcome back to A Little Book Club. I'm John. I'm Matt. Bella. T. Mm -hmm. And we are about to react to the death and life of John F. Donovan. Uh, is that a real person? I don't know. We're about to find out. Okay. Probably a bi biopic, maybe. I don't know. Kit Harrington. Let's go. He knows nothing. Shh. We know how things started. He answered one of your fan letters. And then an unlikely correspondence began, etc., etc. Why don't you just back it all the way up to how things started with you and John F. Donovan? I had just turned 11. Kids at school were mocking me for being a new guy. Rupert! Sorry. My mom and I, we were barely speaking anymore. All my dreams had disappeared. The only one that had survived was John. John got photo approval, right, Bob? Yeah, and you're getting a pony for Christmas. He, on the other hand, had everything. Fans, fame, love. I'm the luckiest guy in the world. That's the time around which some people started to wonder, was it all a lie? I wrote a letter to John F. Donovan about five years ago. It was rather foolish of me to think he would answer, but he did. Now I'm only 11 years old, but later I'll be like him, and we'll act the movies together. Wait, you made up that story. I didn't! You lied, and you lied for years. I just didn't say anything! Did you, or did you not, write letters to that kid? Do you have a pen pal? Child pen pal, do your job. Next. You are never to write to that man again. Do you understand? So why release the letters now? It's been 12 years, and frankly, have things really changed? Hmm. This is about us, as a society, what we want, what we seek. I mean, what should an artist reveal of himself? And why does it matter to us? I feel like I've done everything wrong. This is super dramatic right now. Yeah, here. sorry. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna end this, though. I've Ugh. stolen no, someone else's place. The question is... How could you have stolen a place? How, How could you make it? killed the woman just for you? Ma, can I stay here tonight? Oh, you can stay here for the rest of your life. Dear Rupert, I cannot think of a more singular friend. No one will understand this friendship. Until the day you want them to. There's some meaning to this. Yes. And I have no idea what it is. We're not catching it. We're, we're not learning anything from this. Yeah, I, I'm, I mean, it's probably gonna be good. I don't know. Um, I think what it's gonna be is that John is gonna be like, father are going to be somebody different and that you're going to be slowly revealing that over time but then by the end of the movie it's not even going to matter because it was just like a pointless <laughs> <laughs> just complete nihilism by the yeah, end it was, it was we, ridiculous yeah. like, like it, no it's going to it's going to be no revealed that that he's actually a time traveler and was writing to himself no because r plus l equals j means nothing that's right. Like and subscribe. No, no, he and John Donovan <laughs> share a mailbox. Oh. And each one puts something in the mailbox, and the other takes it out oh. in a different time and place. That would be an excellent movie. You know, I would cast Keanu Reeves in that. You think so? Yeah, I think, I think he can Maybe. do it. He can pull it off. We'll, we'll hit him up for that. Yeah, yeah. Let us know what you thought. Uh, like, please, like and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs>